This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, I'll be showing you a couple of the array commands. An array is a collection of objects. So here what we're referring to is a collection of copies of an object. So to show you this, I'm going to start off in the perspective view. And I'm just going to draw a sphere. Center radius. I'm going to use the zero point as the center of the sphere. And we'll draw the sphere at 5 millimeters. Go ahead and shade this in. We have our sphere. So I'm going to draw a collection of spheres or an array of spheres in a rectangular grid fashion. If I go to transform and array, you can see we have rectangular. So I'm prompted to select the objects to array. I'm just going to array the sphere here and right click. And I'm prompted for the number in the x direction. So I'm just going to create a copy in the x and a copy in the y. So I can adjust the number. So I'm going to make 10 copies in the x. So I'll type in 10 and press enter. And number in the y, I'll do 4 and press enter. And number in the z, we're only going to have our one collection. So I'm going to leave that at 1 and press enter. So now we have our unit cell or x spacing. So we could click the first point and a second point for the spacing. Or we could type in a dimension. So we know that this is 5 millimeters in its diameter. So I'm going to give a cell spacing of 10 and press enter. And that's for the x. For the y, I'm going to do a spacing of 20. And now you can see that we have a rectangular array. And we can modify if the spacing isn't what we wanted. Let's say we need to tighten these up a little bit. We could change the X spacing. I'm going to set this down to, let's say, 3. And press Enter. You can see that now these objects all tighten up. And we can change the Y spacing. I'll do this at 4. And press Enter. So now these objects all kind of self-intersect, create rectangular patterns in this fashion. We can increase the number to 30 and the Y number to 30. And once you've got it to where you need, you right click and that will accept the values. And now you've got your array of objects. I'm going to back up here a minute so that I have one sphere. Just click the undo button. And I'm going to show you this one more time. And you can also use all three values. So number in X direction, I'll do five. Number in Y, I'm going to do 5. Now this time in Z, I'm also going to do 5. So any axis that you only want to have a single row in, you'll just type 1. So this time we'll have 5 in every direction. I'm going to use the spacing of 5. So this way they'll be right next to one another. 5 for the Y and 5 for the Z. So we sort of have a cube here of stacked spheres. And now you can see we also have the Z options. And we can right click. And now we have our rectangular array of spheres.